Right folks, uh, welcome back to Glasgow News. The link up there in blue is going to be in the description as usual. Okay, so this is a story by Peter Davison and it's it surrounds um, Paul Gascoigne, Gaza. Um, it says here, Gaza insists he is safe and well after a video emerges of the Rangers legend pleading for cocaine. The fallen football star can be heard saying, please... I'll pay in the video which prompted fans to beg him to seek help. He's joking. So let's just um, take a wee listen to this, right? I'm a hero. A hero of Newcastle, Tottenham, England, number eight. Um, please, I'll pay. So basically there, I don't know if you heard that noise, the guy's talking about Paul Gascoigne cannot think of anything other than drugs. Right, that's a complete addict. He's not interested in the conversation, he just sees the guy as a route to get drugs. And he says, um, he assumes this man has cocaine, because he asks him, cocaine, and then he says, please, I'll pay. Now, listen folks. You know, you can start harking back to the fact that he was a, an amazing football player and nobody's going to argue with that, right? Um, but what, what, we're, what we're witnessing there is a junkie, okay? And I would imagine that the people that he knew professionally keep him at a distance because they've all tried to help the guy, you know? Now, when I, when I see that guy there, I can remember him as a, an amazing football player, but what has he done to sell over the last, what is it, 25 years, 30 years? He's destroyed his cell, look at him. Right? So, I don't have any sympathy for him, because I know that there's plenty of ex-professional football players out there who never earned even his amount of money, struggling, have struggled even to get jobs. Right? Think about the football players of the older generation of the, of the the 50s and the 60s, the 70s and the 80s. Right? The ones that never got any of this kind of mad money that's about there now. What, what did they do to support their families? What, what did they do? They struggle. They go and get jobs. Right? This guy has been mooching off of people's goodwill towards him and sympathy for him for decades and it's still gone on and it's ex exemplified by this article and by the fact that he's saying I'm safe and well who gives a monkey's mate right see the amount of kids out there that are struggling to get work see the kid amount of kids out there that need good role models you ain't one you have never been one he hammered booze drink right through his professional career, obviously battering the coke up his nose as well. And that's all he's got. You know, imagine that being your dad. I'm sick of this absolute nonsense that we hear about this guy. You know, when are people going to wake up says here, as soon as he stops talking, Gascoigne can be heard saying, cocaine, the fan appears to be shocked and answers, eh, I could um, I could ask. I mean, he's just putting the guy in, in a position and that's what he does. He puts people in a position. He puts people he knows in a position. He puts his family in a position. That is what junkies do, right? That's what addicts do. He would sell his granny, his mother, his children, right? That's the truth. And stop fanning about, folks, thinking, oh, but that's a shame. No, it's no. If he robs you for coke, if he draps you in it for coke, you wouldn't think that, would you? So, that's, uh, that's my opinion. Now, it may seem harsh, but it's no harsh. It's realistic. You know? 
I don't care if the guy needs help. He's had plenty of help. He's used and abused people. Um, on his way, on the way to being who and where he is, the new. So, if you're daft enough to do a GoFundMe to batter shit up his nose, then go for it. But I'm certainly not using any of my hard-earned cash uh, for this guy, and I don't care who he played for. There's plenty of cracking examples of ex-professional footballers uh, that nobody's interested in. Nobody. The Daily Record, Peter Davison, any of them. They don't go near them to help them. There must be thousands upon thousands of footballers, ex-footballers, thinking to themselves, good, if I only had half a quarter of what that guy had. You know? And it's not about end to do with his football. He's, he's a great footballer. Okay, fine. Tough. You know? Anyway, folks. Kind of depressing, but that's it. It is what it is. Peace out.